Hey guys, it's Karen. I thought I would quickly do a Friday Reads video and just show you what I plan to read this weekend. Last night I just finished Where the Crawdads Sing, which I will review soon. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. So it's my opinion is kind of changing <laughs> as um, I think about this, but I'm going to review this next. Okay, so for what I'm reading right now on my morning walks every morning, I read the last, or I listen to, The Last Thing You Surrender, which is by Leonard Pitts Jr. And that is becoming more and more engaging. Like, it was pretty much, like, on from the first page because it just has a very gripping, exciting start. Um, but, yeah, it's getting really, really interesting, really good, and so I'm listening to it even when I'm not on a walk. And then um, I've also been reading a chapter of Sacagawea every day, and I'm really far now. Well, I think I've never gotten this far before. I am on page 350, but I haven't read my uh, chapter for today yet, and it's getting really good. It's been good. I've enjoyed it, like, from page one. Um, one thing that's cool about this book is each chapter starts out with some nonfiction so that you know like what was in the um, journals of Lewis and Clark or other primary sources and then it gets into like a chapter that is you know a fictional version of what happened so yeah I still have a thousand pages left to go but I'm enjoying it um, and then I kind of decided, um, because I like to have a lot of books going at the same time, I tried to just like narrow that down a little bit and like consolidate because sometimes I'll have so many books going at the same time. So I kind of am trying this new thing where I have one fiction and one nonfiction book going at the same time just so I can switch between them. And so my nonfiction book is The Autistic Brain by Temple Grandin. I met her a couple years ago. Um, which I'm so grateful that I was able to meet her and hear her speak. So this is a signed copy, but I noticed that um, Britta Bowler, and I can't remember who else, a couple of people are doing a buddy read of this. And so I'm just like lurking, tagging along without telling them I'm <laughs> reading this. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to read it at the same time as them so that when I watch their videos, I can connect to it. Um, yeah, she's a really cool person. And then on my Kindle, I'm reading The Known World, which I believe it was Kathy Grimm who like raved about this. Um, so I'm really excited to get into it. I haven't really started it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So that is it. I'm curious what you guys are reading this weekend, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye.